Hey guys, this is Jonathan over at American Off-Road. I want to take a minute and show you this XJ that we're working on that we're doing quite a bit to it. This is the second time this has been here. The first time it was here, we just put some new gears in the axles. I guess uh, he kind of got the fever to do more. And so we're kind of doing a lot more on this. So we're going to talk about what we're doing. A lot of engine repair work as far as fixing some leaks. So we took care of the oil pan leak, the rear main seal, valve cover. He had a timing cover leak, so we resealed that. So kind of cleaned up the motor itself and made sure it's not leaking anymore. We also did this uh, redesigned intake, which draws air through the cowl up here. So it's sucking fresh air from the outside of the engine bay. So it's colder air, which should give it a performance increase. So it should run better, especially in the Vegas heat in the summer times. We also did this uh, coil pack conversion that takes away from like the original style, like long brick coil, which are pretty prone for going out on these. So it relocates the coil kind of away from the motor and then goes with a conventional plug style setup. So hopefully that'll be a little bit better, more reliable for him. We also replaced his fuel rail with just an anodized aluminum rail. He had some broken parts on the old one, so this cleans that up as well. And then you may notice that there's you know, no bumper on this and some stuff missing uh, because we're doing a complete suspension change on this. We are adding frame stiffeners to the unibody. So if you look in the wheel well in here, you can see some of that. So this all in here has been reinforced with you know steel plate to kind of help make the unibody less you know, flexing during off-roading and stuff like that. We're also putting an Ironman 4x4 steering brace kit, which is kind of tucked in there, so it's a little hard to see at the moment. Uh, from this side, you can see the top end of the PSC steering gear box that we put in this. So it should have a much stronger steering system in there. We're doing Curry's steering links to replace the factory links. With all of this, we're doing a Clayton uh, six and a half inch three link with double triangulated rear link and converting from the rear leaf springs to coil springs. So this should ride a lot better as well. So we'll have coils front and back instead of just in the front. Um, in doing this, we found quite a bit of rust in the process. Kind of stuck at a moment where we're waiting for some parts to get here so we can continue with all the frame stiffening because we haven't done it in the center yet because we're going to have to replace pretty much the entire floor. And if you look inside, you'll see why. Uh, we pulled up the carpet and found some pretty big holes through the floor, which make for not a lot of good structure to be you know, welding on a lot of, you know, high performance parts. We got to make sure, especially speaking that this is a unibody, that the unibody itself is in good shape. So we're going to be replacing this whole floor section on both sides, pretty much from the front seam of the firewall bottom, all the way to the back of the back seat. And that will give all of this all new life and a lot more structure so that this thing will uh, be solid on the inside. Then we're gonna raptor line the whole floor and then we're gonna put some uh, WeatherTech floor mats over top of that to give it a nice clean look. So you can kind of look in the back here and you can see what we've done so far, which this is gonna be the new upper coil bucket that'll be here. So that's where the new coil will sit. And then you can see the frame stiffener that's already been put back in here as well. So that's kind of where we're at so far on the vehicle. We got the front axle on the table behind me because we're doing you know, the axle prep work for uh, the suspension while we're waiting for some of this other stuff to come through. So we've got the truss already installed. Uh, we're gonna make a bridge, which is what he's currently working on here. So we can mount the new third link mount here. We're gonna cut this one off and then get this fully set up for the new suspension. You know, once we're ready to put this back in place, it'll be ready to bolt in and, and be good to go. So stay tuned. We're gonna be doing some more videos on this to show you the progress. We got custom seats coming down the line a good build to follow. So if it's something you like, be sure to keep an eye on this one.